Hi, uh, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Schools. Uh, this is a video update I'm providing to parents and teachers and and students. Um, and I'm, I'm providing this. I, I was doing these updates uh, every week, and I've kind of slowed down the updates recently. Uh, but there's, there are some things that have happened recently, and we've gotten questions and and concerns, and, and are considering some things that uh, I thought it would be a really good time to share updates now. Uh, one, I wanted to make sure people are aware that our school board meetings and our school board work sessions, including the retreat that was held last week, um, those are live streamed. So you, you, if you're not able to attend a meeting in person, you are able to attend them uh, via live stream if you, if you like. And those meetings are also recorded. So if you want to know after the fact what was discussed, maybe there's something on the agenda of interest to you and you want to hear what the discussion was, you can go to that recording. But there's there are a lot of other resources that are available to folks who might want information or need information or want to keep abreast of what's happening. Um, and I, I've asked Tara Halkowski to put a, a live shot up here, of, uh, a still shot actually, of the different resources that are available. And there are a lot of them. And, and, uh, and at the end of the day, even beyond that, I do the best I can as far as responding to emails. Uh, I don't always get to, to all of them, but I do the absolute best I can. So you're always able to reach out to me directly if you like, or anybody on my on on, on my team, or someone in your child's school, uh, or your or your principal, etc. Uh, we're, we're we're always able to help. But uh, I think what's happened most recently is things happen quickly, and um, you know, decisions are made at school board meetings sometimes, and then we, we produce that information. And then what's happened recently, some that information comes out as a result of a decision at a school board meeting or a discussion at a school board meeting, and someone will say, well, I didn't know anything about that. Well, the, the truth of the matter is, in, in many instances, you probably shouldn't because a lot of information, decision-making related information or, or information that we're providing because we're, we're wanting the school board to vote or take a position or, or or lean in one way or the other we, they need to hear that first we don't we don't you know we don't want to leak information out have the school board if school boards never like that um, and, and I think uh, a, a good example of this for just as an example is the the employee um, bonuses you know that's not something that I would never leak that information out say hey, we're gonna give everybody a bonus before the school board had a chance to weigh in on it and then ultimately vote on it. And so that's just a, a, a sort of an illustration of why sometimes, you know, something will be posted on social media, for example, about a decision the school board made and, and folks will respond to it with, uh, you know, I don't know anything about it. Well, that's, that's completely understandable in most instances because m many of those issues, even though they're on the agenda, the actual discussion and the decision making uh, occurs during the meeting. And then we provide information following the meeting. But uh, I also mentioned those other resources. Um, there's, there's plenty of other resource areas that, that you are, are privy to. And, and then, of course, you can always reach out to me or any one of my staff directly. Uh, during this coming Monday school board meeting, we're going to be presenting a flow chart. And the flow chart is um, it, it's a visual uh, of all those factors that would be taken into consideration in the event that we may want to or need to close a school or the school division or quarantine a classroom, etc. Cetera, et cetera. There, there are plenty of decision-making points that uh, should be taken into consideration before we make that type of decision. So we're going to show we're going to be presenting that to the school board Monday. But having said that, I want I want I want to say this also. Most of those decision-making make, points are subjectives. We're still ultimately going to go to BDH and our local epidemiologist and Dr. Karch or whomever and say, hey, let's talk. We got, here's the situation. Here's what we think. What do you think? What's the recommendation moving forward? Because so much in that list and that flow chart are subjective things. They're, in other words, they're, other than moving from stage three to stage two, it's very concrete. If the governor moved us from stage three to stage two, easy. The decision's made for us. We could not, we, we would have to go to all virtual in that scenario. But there are very few things 
in that flow chart or in the, those decision making points that are, are that uh, object are, are that objective most are subjective most are you got to weigh you got to weigh the different factors and then make a good decision so I wanted to make sure I mentioned that um, last but not least we're going to be providing more information next week we're in the midst of a discussion right now uh, with teachers through the ACES group with principals um, we've already um, explored this issue with the school board at the at the uh, at their uh, offsite meeting, um, so we, we are looking at in, for second semester going to a 50/50 instructional model, and we're able to do this mainly because we were able to uh, we received grant money through um, the CARES Act that enabled us to buy nearly a thousand cameras for classrooms and headsets and tripods and. We were able to do that, and once we were able to do that, we were we were able to, we were able to start talking seriously about going to a 50/50 instructional model, which means it's four days a week of new instruction: Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, where if you're an A group, you go to school Monday and Tuesday, and then you're you're virtual Thursday and Friday. But the difference is you're virtual, but you're receiving new instruction, so you're getting new instruction four days a week, uh, and this is. This is different than what we're doing now, um, but we're still in the midst of a conversation about what it's going to look like exactly, especially at the elementary level, and um, still working through some connectivity uh, issues with, with some families when we're committed to making that, just continuing to do the best we can to, to meet those needs of families. Uh, so there'll be more information coming out, and I'll just give you a, a heads up that this could result in a, a change to the calendar sometime in January uh, because um, if we do go to the 50-50 model which I think is a very good thing by the way it's it's four days of new instruction uh, if we do go to the 50-50 model uh, we like to we like to start the semester off in that model but in order to do that we're gonna we're gonna need to do something to provide teachers with additional time to prepare for that so there may be, and this is, and this will be coming eminently. Uh, we need to make a decision about that moving forward. So you may be impacted as a family by that, uh, but we will get that information to you as soon as we make a decision to make a good decision. But there's still some things that need to be ironed out. And uh, so before we make, you know, dramatic issue decisions about the calendar, for example, we want to make sure that we're, we've got all the facts. We got all the information. We've ironed out any wrinkles that may occur, um, et cetera, et cetera. So more information coming next week about about uh, differences in our, the way we're providing instruction, and also um, we will need to do another survey round. Uh, uh, and I apologize. I know you're being surveyed to death these days, but it'll be a very brief survey of no more than about three questions. But we've got to know going into second semester. What our transportation needs are going to be. We also need to know second semester if there are families who have chosen, for example, to go from all virtual to the 50/50 uh, model, assuming that's what we do. Uh, so I think that will that will will occur if we do go to a 50/50 four days of new instruction. I think we will have some parents uh, who decide to change uh, either going from hybrid to virtual, from virtual to 50/50. I think you get my point there. We'll we'll, we'll have to survey parents and, and figure out from them what it is they intend to do second semester. And then there, of course, there's a transportation piece, which is we got to know that we got to know who's riding the bus, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot coming out. There's a lot forthcoming. I wanted to give you an update about where things stand now, and we'll be providing more information next week um, in, in some format. But if it's somebody else you hear from and not me, I wanted to wish everyone a great Thanksgiving. Please stay safe and uh, have a great rest of the week. Thanks.